Ian, would you like to tell us about our magic item? Oh, our magic item is the Opal of the Stein Rune. That sounds really oh, familiar. Man, Justin, did you just tie everything together? You must have ran out of ideas. It sounds <laughs> like you created an entire adventure just for our uh, other tips and tricks today. Yeah, you're welcome. I don't see you running out of ideas. People stop watching. Uh, well, yeah. I welcome more. <laughs> All right, the Opal of the Stein Rune is a large opal, go figure, about the size of an adult human's fist. That's a big rock. The stone rune appears on it in the form of crystalline veins that run across the surface. The opal has the following properties, which works only while it's on your person. That's how magic items work. Indomitable stand. As an action, you can channel the opal's magic to hold your ground. For the next minute, or until you move any distance, you have advantage on all checks and saving throws to resist the effects that force you to move. Yeah, that's right. Some... You can't touch this. In addition, any enemy that moves to a space within 10 feet of you must succeed on a DC 15 strength saving throw or be unable to move any further this turn. That, that's pretty good right there. Yeah. Can't touch this. Stone Soul, <laughs> you are immune to the petrified condition. Yeah, that's right. That's awesome. Suck it, Medusas. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, uh... Our buddy wishes he, uh, Austin had that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for him to meet her again. Earthen Step. <laughs> you can cast Meld into Stone as a bonus action. Once you use this property, you can't use it again until you finish a short or long rest. That is a really useful ability, let me tell you what. Nothing. It's fine. It's good. Good job. All right. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Oh, but wait. There's way more. Is there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. I forgot there is more. Next up, we have Gift of Stone. Mm. You can transfer the opal's magic to a non-magical item, like a shield or a pair of boots, by tracing the stein rune there with your finger. The transfer takes about eight hours of work that requires the two items to be within five feet of each other. At the end, the opal is destroyed. Boom! And the rune appears in silver on the chosen item, which gains a benefit based on its form. Such as if you put it... Transform! If you put it on a shield... It is now a rare magic item that requires attunement. While you wield it, you have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Ah. Just uh, uh, resistance. Not just not magical, but just right. period. Period. Yeah. Or we put on boots. I'm glad, I, can I just say I appreciate that you noticed that? Yeah. Thank you for Most that. Most people don't. No, I, don't, I didn't think anybody would notice that. Well, to be fair, nine times out of ten, when you put stuff like that, it's usually specified as not magical. Yeah, usually. <laughs> yep. Or you put on boots, which, which now makes it a rare item that requires attunement. When you're wearing it, you have advantage in strength saving throws, and you can use your reaction to avoid being knocked prone. In addition, you can cast the Erupting Earth spell using a spell save DC of 15. Nice! Once you use this property, you can't use it again until a short or long rest. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong either way. <laughs> Shield or boots. What do you guys think of this magic item? I think that you've been playing Diablo a lot. Dude, I have not played Diablo in forever, but man, do it I came out this it. past week. <laughs> Did it? That Diablo two. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't support it. That's why I canceled my WoW account. So, but I am a big fan of Path of Exile and other D and D games or uh, um, action <laughs> RPG games. But yes, totally. Uh, this actually was not. Or, I mean, I designed this item, but this concept is actually in the Storm King's Thunder. I think one of you guys got one. Austin's character got one. But anyways. So. Um, so yeah, it's pretty straightforward. He wants this thing really bad. It's pretty simple. I love that it gives options, right? Um, Lots of options. This means that it can fit a multitude of different characters, right? Um, obviously, what it does di is different depending on whether it's outside the body and becomes a basically um, a, a thing that lets you what cast a spell, I think, right? Or is it... No, it's the, the indomitable stand. Indomitable stand and the you can't be petrified. Um, and you can use, uh, uh, cast the meld into stone as a bonus action. So it gives you some cool stuff. You really got to choose. Obviously there's a theme here. Yep. No rocks stone. Yeah. Get stoned. Get stoned. <laughs> it, it, you know, it'd be a, a neat addition to this. What's that? Did you know that if you get opal wet, it cracks. You're making that up. Nope. No. He's making that up. I'm not making that up. Opal cracks. And when it gets wet. That seems like a very not valuable stone at all. Uh, I mean, there's a diamond. 